In this video, we're going to prove the chain rule. We're going to prove the chain rule for logarithms, for logarithms, which is not usually taught in high school algebra in the United States at the least, where I live. But, but it can show up in competition math and such. So I think it's an important one to go over. This thing states log base A of B times log base B of C is equal to log base A of C log base a of c and to see how it's how it's kind of working as a chain you are chaining log base a of b and log base b of c together and b there's b up top and there's b down below and they cancel out to get you log base a of c so that's why that's that's maybe why they named the chain rule for logarithms and we're going to try to prove it but before to prove this we're going to prove something a bit more general there's log base a of b times times log base log base c of d is equal to log base a of d times log base log base c of b the reason is this thing is more general so it has more applications and once we prove this this chain rule for logarithms is going to follow through right away so let's prove this thing first and how i'm going to do it i'm going to let log base a of b be x log base c of d be y log base a of d b c and log base c of b oh we can let it be w and let's see what we can do log base a of b is equal to x so you know a to the x is equal to b log base c of d is equal to y so c to the y is equal to d log base a of d is equal to z gets you a to the c is d and log base c of b gets you c to the w is b now what can we do notice that a to the x is equal to b and c to the w is also equal to b so you know a to the x is equal to c to the w and another thing you can realize c to the y is equal to d a to the z is equal to d so c to the y is equal to a to the z and what can we do from this look at this you have a to the x is equal to c to the w so why don't we why don't we exponentiate its side by 1 over w to cancel this out to exponentiate the side by 1 over w then you have a to the x over w is equal to c and you can substitute this right in to c to the y you know c is equal to a raised to x over w and you are raising this to y power and you should get a to the z all i'm doing is i'm substituting this value which is equal to c into this equation of c, into c so you have a to the x y over w is equal to a to the z and since the base are equal that's telling you the exponents have to be equal to have the equality x y over w is equal to z otherwise known as x y is equal to w times z and what what is this this thing is we just proved x y is equal to w times z and all that's what we wanted to prove we wanted to prove x times y was equal to w times z so we just proved this formula we just proved log base a of b times log base c of d is log base a of d times log base c of b now let's prove the chain rule we want to prove that log base a of b times log base a log base b of c is log base a of c and we can apply this apply this equation realize in this equation a and c are staying the same but b and d are getting switched around instead of log base a of b you have log base a of d and instead of log base c of d you have log base c of b so all we're going to do is we're going to switch this around while keeping the basis constant and that should get you log base a of c times log base b of b and what do you know about log base b of b that's one so this thing is equal to log base a of c and we have proven the chain rule for logarithms